Hey guys. Hello. Hello. I keep hitting my head on the iron. Please help. I need a doctor. I need a doctor. I'm going to get. Okay, okay, I'm dead now. You're making me dizzy watching you sleep. <laughs> right, guys, today uh, we are in a redstone testing world, and we're going to show you some pretty cool redstone contraptions that we think you might like. They are pretty cool. I mean, we both made them ourselves. We literally just made these redstone contraptions from scratch, no reference. Yeah, so, I mean, we probably took inspiration from some people, but we built Man, these geez. ourselves. Alright, so, Jonathan, what are we doing here in this room of iron? I I'm just going to throw a random comparator right there, don't mind me. Okay, bye! Ooh! Now I know you found my secret place! Oh no! I'm out of here! I gotta get out! That's cool. So like one of the buttons opens it really quickly and another one just opens it? No. One of them opens and closes. The other one just opens or closes. Like one's toggle, one is both at the same time. That's what I literally that. just said. Well, I don't know how to English. Boop. 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 Buttons. So you wanna show everyone the redstone? Well, it's pretty quite simple. Like, right around here, down here, is the item filter, which about all of the things will go into after entering this hopper minecart. And they either get sorted into the item filter with a specific name, or... And both of them will enter into this item elevator, which will shoot into the chest that you saw inside of the build. And, but... Uh, the only twist is that the ones that go through the bottom will send a redstone signal over here. Wait. No. It's over here. That- the actual- The redstone signal's over here. I'm sorry, my- my old brain fault. And yeah. then it has to go through here and it'll trip both of the pistons. And then the door opens. And it works, and, and it's glorious, is, and all of its pulse extender right here. It is a pulse extender. It's that that pulse extender. It's it's just it's not even pulse extender. It's just a really okay. I'm going to push the button that activates that. It sends two pulses back to back. Mhm. Mm it's, it's like a dual pulse thingamabobber. It's pretty cool. Thing or bobber. <laughs> it, it, it makes it work, it gets the job done. And okay. over here is actually one of my signature builds. A 2x2 two two slime block piston door. So quick, man! Flex so quick! I love so it! cool. And it's really simple. You could build this yourself five minutes, gather some quartz from the nether, and you can build this. It's a, it's a four redstone, two right repeaters. Quartz. Where, where's the quartz, Nika? The quartz is in the nether. No, I mean, where's the quartz in this build? There is no it's quartz. It's in the repeaters. Quart Unless I'm really stupid and there's no quartz in the repeaters, I'm going to quartz kill is myself comparators. now. Quartz is comparators! <laughs> okay. Quartz is comparators. Ignore everything else we have. This is the goblin. We built this because why not? But yeah, this one is really fast and it's pretty cool. So if you want to build this, go right ahead. Alright, so what do we have over here, Jonathan? Right here we have a simple redstone key. You just put a redstone right here, and it'll open the door. Huh. And then once you break it, it'll take a second, but then it'll close really quickly. That's cool. That's nice. All the redstone behind it is right here. You just have to have a redstone torch that'll constantly power this block. But, and then when the redstone receives, this repeater will send the pulse over to here, invert it, and then make the door activate, and does its good. It's pretty simple, you could probably build this yourself. It's nice. It's More than simple. likely you can build this yourself. It's decently cheap in design, actually, if you have the slime. I mean, once you have the slime, it's really cheap. Get like a slime farm, because everyone needs a slime farm. Slime farms are great. Yeah. Alright, so over here, we have a button, and we have 
corner piston for it. Yeah, that's literally it. <laughs> That's really get a corner piston door, and it looks really cool, like James that Bond style. It's and like one of those piston doors that you would not expect to be there. Like you'd expect yeah. like a straight hallway, like, but instead you get a corner. You could place like maybe two different blocks here, so like people think, hmm, maybe this is a piston door. Nope. nope like this. this is the real like this door. is a ca this is a casual piston. Like yeah, people people will know. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's good. Or to make it even more obvious. Yeah, but... But, but, but that I don't... messed up the room. You idiots. You idiots. Okay, wait. Wait, I can, I can fix this. There, there yeah. you go. All good. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so the redstone behind it is pretty simple. Redstone torch, two sticky pistons. Both sides wired up with redstone. Get a button, and you'll be good. You'll be really good. So, Jonathan, what is this magnificent donut you got here? It's it's a donut door, and mm -hmm. once you flick the lever, they will all retract and extend at the exact same time. So fast! <gasps> ah! <laughs> what was that? It was my kawaii scream. Kawaii! So yeah. It's pretty it's cool. Coin. Literally all it is, just redstone down there, repeaters, torches, sticky pistons, and a ton of wiring, and, and that's pretty much it. And then you got yourself a donut door, and it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go eat this donut now. I'm, I'm just gonna eat the donut. Alright, alright. Right. Don't eat the donut. It's made of okay, iron. That, okay, that hurt my teeth. That it has hurt, too that much really... iron. That seriously hurt my teeth. Don't eat this unless you have an iron deficiency. Alright, I think I should get a Alright, ignoring that beehive over there, what do we have here? Oh yeah, I know what we have here. It's something really cool. Watch this. Isn't it amazing? You just hop down here. It's great. Yeah, but if you come back up, Nico, there's something even more secretive. Uh. Check this out, guys. You put a Ooh. button right here. But then you just stand right here, press it, and then you oh. just fall. What's oh. up? And the button goes with you, so it's completely hidden. James Bond. We are James Bond with all these entrances right here. Whoop. Peace. And now I'm down here. Where are you? I'm up here now. No, <laughs> I tried to get down, but I flicked too bad. <laughs> So some Where's of the... these I actually built a while ago. The redstone behind it is actually simple, in theory. So what you have over here is the lever. It activates like this double piston extender here. But first it activates something else over here, you know? You recognize this? This is pretty much the same thing I have over there with my super simple slime block door. All the way over here. Oh, the way over here. It's like almost the exact same thing. It is the exact same thing. Pretty much. And then it activates that. And it also activates a double piston extender, which retracts it into the wall. So you just have a clear way to jump down. And it's really awesome. And over here we have a um, pulse extender. So for the uh, button thing. I didn't okay, make this. let's see exactly how the button thing works, if you wouldn't mind wa watching the redstone. Okay, I'll, I'll watch it. it this, Wait! The pulse extender is for how long the door is open. So, that's pretty cool. If you want to build this, it's, it's pretty simple. It's amazing. I mean, it's, it's a little expensive. I slime mean, the blocks. slime box is what really makes it expensive. All the pi yeah. decently pistons. The you know what? themselves are cheap. Comparators, not so much. You know what? There are more expensive things in this in this world. I've there really that. are. Yeah. So, um, that would be all the builds we have for you today. But we have one more thing that we like to showcase to you. Oh, do we? Yeah, we do. Ah. What is it? It's this thing, right here. Oh yeah, that thing. I completely forgot about it. How did I forget about it? So, let me just give you all a demonstration on how it works. 
So you could easily like maybe slip this into a survival world or like cover this up with grass, have some trees around it. Wait a second, I messed up. Look, let me fix it. Yeah, okay. that's the locking system. So <laughs> if the locking system is activated, it's not gonna work. So push the button. You you get transported down four blocks. This opens for you. It goes back up, and then it closes, so you can't get stuck in an elevator shaft. This button up there, you press that, it opens for you, you can walk in, or, or not. not, and you get sent back up, but it's super cool. Hey Nico, you should come back down into the actual shaft itself. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. I'm still here! Okay, okay. and Thank then this you. locking system. So, as you saw earlier, if you're up here, even if you press this button, no matter- Why did you unlock it? <laughs> there you go. No matter how many times you press this button, it's never going to open. And you'll just be stuck here. And you're gonna be real sad. Because you can't get in. Yeah. But now you can. But now you can, so... Yeah. And this is the redstone behind it. That's it. Looks it. scary. That, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna try to explain this the best that I can. So, what this does, it uses some of the design mechanics from my super simple slime block door over here. It uses the same sort of thing, but it multiplies it, and now there's four pistons instead of two. So this is just a bunch of timing things to get the extension and the retraction right for the door and that's pretty cool it's, it's tuned exactly for making it go up and down and it's pretty cool so and then this button over here it hits the pulse extender and it's here it just connects it down over here okay so then when you push the button it activates the door but because this pulse extender, you're actually able to go down and you have time to get in. Same for going back up. And the locking mechanism activates the redstone permanently. So no matter how many times you press the button, you won't be able to get in. And yeah, it's really cool. And I encourage all of you, if you have the time and resources, to build this in one of your survival worlds. Because you can easily disguise this and it'll look super cool once you do it. Can brag to all your friends about how you have a nice entrance into your base. Or wherever you want to make this. You seem to be having fun with this. <laughs> Maybe. Come up. Hello. Okay. I I I need to I need to not see your face anymore. I I I can't. My my retinas. My retinas. Goodbye. So those were some entrances, and we think they're pretty cool. Hopefully you thought the same. Leave your and, opinions down yeah. below! Yeah. If you have any suggestions for the next episode, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Yeah. This is, this is pretty cool. Yeah. No. Good goodbye. Goodbye.